Our next story comes from Sierra Leone, a country in West Africa, home to 8.6 million people. It has declared a national emergency, not over economic or political turmoil, but rampant drug abuse. This is about the so-called zombie drug, also called Kush. This drug has been around for years. It is a psychoactive blend of addictive substances, including opioids and human bones. And that's what's complicating matters, the fact that it has human bones. Because now some people are digging up skeletons from graves. Can the government put a stop to this crisis? Our next report tells you. Sierra Leone is facing an existential crisis. We aren't saying this. President Julius Mada Bio is. Now the West African nation has declared a national emergency. Not over political or economic turmoil, but over rampant drug use. And the culprit is one drug in particular, Kush. This is a psychoactive blend. It consists of addictive substances like opioids, marijuana and human bones. That's right, one of the drug's many ingredients is human bones, and an important one at that. So much so that addicts are digging up skeletons from graves. They say I need to flush this from my body. I started taking this five years ago. My system is now addicted to Kush. The drug has been prevalent in Sierra Leone for years, but in the past six years, the youth have fallen prey to it in large numbers. The nation's youth unemployment rate is further compounding the issue. It stands at 60 percent, one of the highest in the world. Now, President Bio has called the drug a death trap, but that's not its only nickname. Kush is popularly called the zombie drug. Why? This is a potent synthetic drug which affects the physical and mental state of addicts. They stand like zombies with shoulders slouched head tilting to one side, shuffling about aimlessly. Many are without shoes. Their feet are swollen from infections. The toll on mental health is just as bad. The country has only one fully functioning mental institution. Between 2020 and 2023, admissions linked to Kush surged by 4,000%. What we see in the hospital is, can be likened to the tip of a nice bag where only the severe cases are being brought. But if you go down to the communities, if you go down to the parks, you go down to the streets, you go down to the ghettos, you'll find much more you know, people using these substances and the impact has been created on them than what we see here. But that's not the worst of it. The drug is killing people. Sierra Leone has not released official numbers, but experts say fatalities are increasing. Young people are dying. We need a speedy and we focus strategy to see how young people are taken from this drug intake. But at the threat is at, but at the moment it is quite alarming. So what is the government doing about it? Security has been tightened in cemeteries so people stop stealing human skeletons for ingredients. The government is trying to boost all law enforcement agencies so that there are more investigations into how the youth are getting their hands on this deadly drug. Currently, Sierra Leone has only one rehab centre in the entire country. Experts say it's more of a holding centre than a rehab. It lacks adequate facilities. Plus, the drug is manufactured and distributed by criminal gangs. Until there's a crackdown on them, the supply chain will persist. So, Sierra Leone may have declared a state of emergency, but what it needs are focused measures to tackle the root cause. Until that happens, it will continue digging up old graves, quite literally.